So hello and good Monday, my name is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today I'm going to show you how to do fill up on Findao and this is the extract of the Power Query course I just released last week, okay? So this is a sample lesson of which you will see if you take the course. So, oh, at the end I have a Curval Did You Know tip from the community, it comes from Vincent, don't miss that, but let's jump into the lesson. So hello there, do you know that I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Fridays? So make sure you hit the subscriber button and the bell to receive notifications every time I do that. How about we get started with today's video? In this lesson we're going to go through a function called field. You can fill down and you can fill up, but you can do that also in Excel. It's really useful. Let me show you what it does and let me show you what you need to do to make it work. Because uh, Power Query will not fill down just by default. Okay, so we are here with the data airport data set again. And uh, if you remember on the previous step, we actually replaced blanks with null because Power Query does not understand blanks, it only understands nulls as blanks. So if you remember what we did, we just, if we delete it, here is the way it looks, and we replace empty with null. Let's try to do a fill down without doing that. So we go here to transform, fill down, and what it's supposed to do is supposed to take this value and put it into each uh, column or, or each row below that is blank. And as you can see, it's not doing anything at all. And the reason for that is because what fill down does is it takes null values and replace it with text. And these are no null, they are empty, they are blank, not the same. So what we need to do is what we did on the step before. We go here, we go to replace values, we go to empty, and then we write null. We did that on the, uh, on the other step. And now we can go to transform and fill down. Easy, right? Okay, let me show you another case that will exemplify it better. Now, here's a lot of data to actually see something. So we're going to import a new source. It's a CSV file. Fill down. Okay. And this is very typical on how you will get data in Excel. So you usually get data pivoted and you get like this, you know, merge column. So it looks nice. So you will get here 2018 and then this is month one and then there's nothing here, month two. This is like super, super typical. But you cannot use data like that for analysis. You need to actually fill down those columns. So look at this. This is wonderful. So you will see now what fill down does. If we check, select year and shift select select month and then we go to transform fill down you see so it goes and fills one until it doesn't find an empty then it takes the next value and it fills down and then it takes the next value and it fills down it's really really useful especially working with excel files that comes from people that has been doing pivot tables and that kind of stuff so it was a bit tricky, this fill up and fill down, right? Not as straightforward as you might think, but now you know how that works. Again, if you want to take the Power Query online course, just go down below and you have all the information you need about that. And now, Kerbal, did you know? So we have a tip, community tip from Vincent. You can see it here. And Vincent says like this, use the package data.table in R instead of pandas of Python to import tables that are big, like huge data sets. He says that it performs actually much, much better for those tasks. So thank you, Vincent. Now, make sure you send me the Kerbal Did You Know tips and tricks. You have all the information on the video down below and it will pop up somewhere here so I can continue sharing your best tips and tricks. With that said, I will see you again on, not on Monday, on Wednesday. I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye.